investigate it again. Um, in 1960, a guy named Stanley Milgram took a white coat, put it on himself, took students like you, and asked the students to wear, um, uh, to come into a room and help the teacher, who had a white coat on, teach someone Chinese. Every time the student got something wrong, some wires were connected to the student and he'd get a shock. Have you heard about this? Oh, uh, he what? Well, it was a science. Yeah, it was science. Oh, okay. But they, they, they explained it, right? Yeah. The, the idea. So, well, what's that? It's trial and error. No. Trial, yeah, it was kind of like a trial and error when the, st uh, the student got something wrong, he got a shock. The student was a confederate, right? He was a confederate, right. And the real person being tested was the person who was pressing the red button. Right, okay. So, um, the, the point of the story is that there's something in psychology where we trust the person who has the white coat on. They must know well what is necessary. And so when the teacher tells you which is better to start with A or start with E, okay, it's, it's nice to be able to question authority. So that's the, the crux. If you have five, you start somewhere in the middle. And depending on whether you want to start with C or start with D, it depends on your philosophy. But the, that's the current idea. So when you have a crazy answer like this, or a question like this, it's often faster just to choose something in here. And I think you said it's better, you know, you just look at it and see whether it should be a, a little number or a big number. That's all. I mean, if there's an x squared and you got something around 900, does it make sense to go with 2,500, right? <laughs> no, it's too big. So, yeah, you start something in one of those areas. And so the idea is if you did choose 40, it would be 1600 here and you'd instantly see it was too big so then you say okay must be that. <laughs>